In this video, I would like to talk about the concept of convex sets and convex preferences in economics. So let's start with convex set. A subset X of RL is convex if XY element of X and lambda element of the closed interval 0, 1 implies that this convex combination of the two points X and Y also belong to the set X. So here RL refers to the Cartesian product of L many real lines. So I'll just write it out. So let's say if we are working with a two good case, then we have we are working in the R2 space. So if we have two goods like good X and Y, then we can represent it like this. If let's say we are doing an optimization with three goods, then we have an R3 case. So we are in the R3 space and we can also plot them in a three dimensional graph. So here this L represents the number of dimensions that we are working with in our mathematical problem. Now let's understand the concept of convex set first. So Let's take a look at an example. If I think of the R2 case where this is one axis and this is the another axis, and if this circle represents a set, let's say the circle represents the set A, and if I pick any two points X and Y, which belongs to this set, then this definition says that if I draw a straight line between these two points, then all the possible points that sit on this line will also be an element of this set. And if this is true, then this set it will be a convex set. So in this case, we can see that even if we pick two lines on the boundaries, then all the possible combinations or the line that we draw through these two points are also contained within this set. So this set A can be thought of a convex set. Now let's take a look at an example of a set which is not convex. Again in the two-dimensional R2 space, uh, if I think of a set that looks like this, like kind of a donut, and if I pick two arbitrary points, let's say here, and connect them, then yes, all the possible combinations here are contained within this set. But let's say if I pick them here on these boundaries, then all these possible combinations that are sitting on this line are not contained with this set, within this set. So this is not a convex set. So one more example, let's see. Let's say we have a set that is represented by this square and this little dot. So uh, let's name it the set C and set C is the union of this square and this dot. So is this a convex set? So if I take any points within this square, then the lines connecting those points will definitely be contained within this set. But if I connect any point on the square with this other point, then the line that connects these two points, all the points sitting on this line are not contained within this set. So this is not a convex set. Now, on the real line, if we are working with a, a one-dimensional case, so if our L is equals to 1, then we, just, we are just working with a real number line. Then in, on a real line, any convex set is an interval. So if we are working with one-dimensional case, then the convex sets will be basically intervals. So they can be both closed or either closed and open. Okay, so now that we know the concept of convex sets, let's connect it to the concept of preferences. Now let's say this, sim this notation represents uh, at least as good as when we are thinking in terms of bundles of goods or preferences and this notation represents strictly better than in preference satisfaction. And let's say we have a consumption set, which is X. 
and this consumption set uh, contains different bundles of goods so let's say x is one bundle y is another bundle and z is another bundle and all these three bundles belong to this consumption set x the large x now let's say we have this given preference arrangement such that y is at least as good as x and z is at least as good as x and let's say we pick any real number theta that belongs to this closed interval 0 1 and if we say that a weighted average of y and x and y and z so theta y plus 1 minus theta z is at least as good as x then we say that this consumption set x is convex and this set represents convex preferences so what this means is that for any two bundles that are each viewed as being at least as good as a third bundle so we have the bundle y which is as good as x and the bundle z which is as good as x and if we take a weighted average of these two bundles which is this part and if this weighted average is also viewed as being at least as good as a third bundle then we say that this preference relation is convex now let's take a look at the idea of strict strictly convex preference relation so we still have the same goods x y and z which belongs to the con uh, consumption set x and we have now this notation also that comes into play which represents uh, is strictly better than now if this following condition holds which is if we have sorry, if we have y at least as good as x z at least as good as x and we make sure that y is not equal to z so they are two distinct distinctly separate bundles and we have this theta which is now an element of the open set 0 1 instead of being a closed set now if the weighted average of y and z which is theta y plus 1 minus theta z is strictly preferred to x then this represents strictly convex preference so what this means is that for any two distinct bundles that are each viewed as being at least as good as a third bundle so good y and good z are viewed at least as good as x but if we take a weighted average of these two bundles and if this weighted average is viewed as being strictly better than the third bundle then we say that this represents a strictly convex preference so this summarizes the concept of convex sets and the concept of convex preferences